Welcome to this edition of Drum Talk. In today's edition, we're going to look at drum thrones, specifically the Donner Heavy Duty Drum Throne. Now, I've always used rock and sock drum thrones for the last 20 plus years. <clears throat> Ever since I purchased a rock and sock drum throne, I've known they are a great drum throne. And that's the one I'm sitting on right here. This is the rock and sock. Um, travel model. There's another one I have in the studio that's a rock and sock motion throne. Now, for me, I need a solid seat to sit on. I'm a big guy. A big guy needs a solid seat. To find a solid seat that's under 100 bucks is almost impossible, but most of the seats are going to be somewhere between 150 and 250 if you want to spend money on a seat today. Rock and Sock's a good seat. I think you can still get this seat probably around 165, 170. And the Motion Throne goes up to 215. I've seen it. So I was looking for a seat for traveling to church, using a church for a couple hours every couple weeks when I play. And it would be something that possibly the church could purchase for the drum kit. I wanted to test it out for them. So I had a dual motive in buying this throne. I could have spent the money on a better throne. But I knew that the church was looking for something, and I wanted to see if I could find something that would hold up and work and put it through the paces before I recommended. So that's why I purchased, keep switching seats, the Donner Drum Throne. Now, this is the Donner Heavy Duty Drum Throne with the saddle seat. It's on a piano type bass. So it's got the piano adjustability. You can go up or down. Okay, I like where it's at, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Um, locks down. That's pretty much what you're looking to do with this, is lock it down, get it where you want it, and lock it in. Now the key to this throne that I have found is once you find the place, the settings that work for you, keep it set in that place. And the other thing is to get the top as tight as possible so it doesn't move. If you get the tight top as tight as possible so it doesn't move, this seat is fine. Now, it's got a good solid cushion. And I'm going to show you some pictures from some other video on the Donner Throne where you can see the construction of the seat and how it's built. It's a solid seat. I won't say it's as soft and as is comfortable as the rock and sock, but I will say it's comparable for the money you're paying for it. I paid $75 for this seat delivered. I've seen it as low as less than $60 from Walmart and as high as $100, $119 on Amazon. So you can buy this seat in different places and get different prices. Now Donner, not a name I've ever known, but I will tell you that I've seen other YouTubers actually look at Donner drums, Donner electronic drums, and other Donner hardware. So they are a company that's trying to get out there into the drum market. They're probably a Taiwan company that's selling to the U.S. market. Um, just like any drum company that's trying to get a better name for themselves, they're going to try to get out in the market. This is something you can only get mail order. I don't think you can get them at a music store. So um, they're kind of designed in that space. I bought it off of eBay for um, $74. So I'm quite impressed with the throne based on the money. And it's because the, the, the base is stable. The seat is comfortable, but not overly comfortable. It's not super soft. It is firm. I need a firm seat. I can't really use a really thick foam seat like the pork pie seats. I've sat on those and they're just too soft for me. Um, even some of the DW seats have been too soft and I don't really like it. This is actually stiffer, so it helps my back keep it where it needs to be. I have been using this for the last three weeks on a lot of drum covers on the Studio B kit, the Gretsch kit, and I have enjoyed it. Um, to be honest, I think it was worth the purchase, and it's worth the money. And if you are somebody that's looking for a throne under $100, but you're a big guy and you need a heavy-duty throne, I would give this a try. The only drawback I saw in construction was the plate itself. The plate itself, when I put it on, felt like it moved a little bit.
and I had it really tightened down on it, and I did another little modification to it where I took a little piece of a rubber, not a piece of moon gel, but I've been buying these Amazon rubber um, clear dots for my drum kits, and I put, I cut it out and put it on the, on the top of the um, spindle post, put it on there, put the seat on there, and then tightened down on it, and it kind of kept it rocked in, locked in pretty good. So I was quite happy with it. Um, today, I've taken that off. My first attempt at this video, I ended up taking it off. And what I found was this, this um, it's working fine. I, that first concern of a little bit of warble um, was a little over the top on my part the first night when I put it together. It's rather easy to assemble. It comes in a nice box. I didn't do an unboxing. I thought that the review was more important. So I'm giving you the review on the Donner Drum Throne. Heavy duty um, with the saddle seat. Less than $100. Um, if you're in the market, try one. Anyhow, that's it for me. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a question. I'd love to answer it. It may be answered on my Ask Girl Anything show. And as always, thank you for watching my drum covers and all my videos. Everybody, please like and subscribe, as they like to say. Um, should have said that first, shouldn't I? Have a great day. Bye.